Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mason. We're back with another episode. Um, today we have brothers Garrett and Harley Williamson um, here to share Allure Sleep with us. Allure provides a quick and easy way to buy a luxury mattress and pillow. Um, the mission is to improve well-being by providing high-quality sleep products at affordable prices. Um, so let's bring them on and learn more about Allure Sleep. What's up, fellas? Hey, thanks for having me. Mason, how's it going? Doing well. I, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know we, you guys are tuning in from Ontario and Philadelphia, or should I say Lower Marion? You, you can you can say Lower Marion. Lower Marion. Okay. Pro and you guys, gotcha. Gotcha. Very cool. So, um, you know, share with us kind of the, the story behind um, this brother built business that is Allure Mattresses. Yeah, absolutely. So I know you touched on it a little bit, uh, but yeah, Lore Sleep uh, is a quick and easy way to buy a mattress. Uh, we really streamlined the bed buying process by making it more convenient for the consumer. Uh, instead of going to a store, you can shop from the comfort of your home. Um, and uh, we partnered up with my brother. We, we combined forces to really just create a family business. Uh, and so far, so good, man. It's a lot of excitement around the brand and continuing to push it every day. Okay, so before we jump into the company, I have a couple of brothers, and I couldn't imagine trying to run a business with them. So, what is that like? What What are the What's the good and the bad of trying to build something with your brother? Uh, um, yeah, we. I mean, we come from a very close knit family. So, um, I mean, if if I'm gonna be in the trenches, so to speak, I, I want to be there with someone I can trust, someone who I know has my back 100, percent and 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 the only person I can think to do that with is my brother. So. Uh, there are ups and downs, like you said, but a lot more ups than there are downs. And when there are downs as brothers, we, we've always had the, the, the mindset to work through it together as one. So it's been a great, great opportunity to be able to work with my brother. That's awesome. I, I could definitely see like I feel like sometimes in partnerships, especially in the infancy of them, brutal honesty is, is hard to come by. And, and I feel like with brothers, that wouldn't be an issue at all. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett can be brutal sometimes. I'm sure he could say the same about me too. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So, okay. So Allure Sleep, you guys are, you know, selling luxury mattresses. Um, these, you know, bed in a box or mattress in a box uh, concepts have been really popular um, here in the U.S. Uh, you know, you have Casper, you have, um, you know, I, I couldn't even name them all. I've seen Purple come out now. What, what differentiates you guys um, from those other, you know, bed box businesses? Well, it, it is a very competitive uh, industry. I mean, you have the bed in the box, uh, people like Casper, Lisa, Andy, a few of those names as you already mentioned. And then you also had the Sealy, the Serta, the Simmons, uh, the Tempur-Pedics of the world. So there are a lot of players in the game. So when we came out with the lower sleep, we had to try and find a way uh, to really make our mark. And you only have one time to make a first impression. So that means finding a product that's quality. Uh, one that if we offer to our friends and family, uh, we're confident that they'll like it. Uh, so in order to separate us from the competition, we had to add additional features and benefits into our product to set us apart. Uh, so with ours, you'll find uh, we, we have a higher end memory foam. We have more of a story as far as our cover goes. Uh, we kind of broke our product down into four stages, one being our Cool Luxe cover. Uh, our Cool Lux cover, uh, which helps sleep helps allow you to sleep cooler, uh, and we also infused it with copper ions, and that's going to help uh, fight any type of bacteria growth or fungi in the mattress. And especially in today's day and age with the pandemic that we're currently in, uh, that's something that is, is very important. Uh, I've I've been in the industry now, the mattress industry, for about six years, and. Um, the stories I've heard from consumers throughout the years, as far as maybe getting a hand-me-down mattress from a, a family member, uh, or buying, even hearing of people buying a, a mattress off Craigslist, and just to think how unsanitary that is, uh, we found a way to make the, uh, a cleaner sleep surface, uh, and then again using higher quality materials uh, to separate us from the Casper and the Andes and the Leases of the world. Gotcha. So Harley, you said you started this six years ago. Garrett, share with us where you were at when you joined Allure Sleep and, and what you were doing at the time. Right. So um, as Harley mentioned, he's been working for our family doing sales for the past six years. Is Garrett there? Hello? Can you yeah, we can hear you. All right. 
Yeah. yeah so uh, my family's been in the mattress industry our whole lives. Um, we've had access to a manufacturer and I was actually playing in Greece at the time. And, you know, we had practice for two hours a day. I had a lot of downtime. Um, I'm like, I need another way to make some money, another way to, you know, kind of do something because I know the game's not going to last forever. Um, and Casper had just launched. I was reading about him. I was like, this company did a million in a month. Um, and I called my family and they said they were willing to support it if we want to put the brand together and build it. So I actually flew out to Calgary when my season ended with like a book bag and a duffel bag, slept on his couch for like three months. He was servicing probably like a couple hundred stores out in Alberta, um, on uh, way out like the West coast of uh, Canada. And I followed him around, learned the mattress industry, kind of like immersed myself in it. Um, it really took about three years to get off the ground, just building the brand and the name. And uh, we knew we had to kind of, if someone's going to spend money online, we don't want to put a product out that looks like we just whipped it together. Um, and we really spent some time to build the brand, build the name, kind of our foundation for it. Um, and then once we launched, I knew I had the platform of playing basketball where I walk in a room, everybody wants to shake my hand, they want to speak to me. Um, that, you know, I needed more to offer. I needed to come to come to the table with something. And, you know, I know everybody sleeps, so I kind of thought that, that might be a, a leg up. So you come to any London Lightning game where I'm playing as a mattress in the kiosk, there's pillows there. I have interns selling stuff. We have commercials going around the Jumbotron. Um, you know, and it's, it's great exposure. I got a couple thousand people coming to watch every night. Um, a lot of free press and it's organic. Um, knowing that we couldn't compete with a Casper and Envy or these other companies that have like tens of millions of dollars to dump into advertising. Um, mm -hmm. We were kind of trying to pinpoint different strategic lanes we can get into that are niche markets um, to kind of get some legs behind this brand and, and get us off the ground. That's great. I love it. Um, so speaking to the mattresses, you guys highlight like the foam, the copper, different features. I, I'm super curious, like, you know, you see like firmness being something you see like mattresses now that cool. Uh, I saw interesting research back in the day that showed like when people are going to buy a car, ultimately something as small as like the cup holder ends up being uh, what what determines whether they buy the car or not. Like, do I like where I'm going to put my drink once I get in the car? Because they all run the... What, what's the, the the thing that ends up converting a lot of these online buyers in terms of features of a mattress? Uh, I think right now it's a lot of the... Is, uh, is Garrett speaking? I actually can't hear if Garrett's speaking or not. I can hear both of you guys. So. Okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, the biggest thing right now is convenience and affordability, um, as well as us just kind of putting a high-end product out there that um, our consumers, like most of our competitors, we feel that are putting out a product that they're trying to make it as affordable as possible, where we're trying to make the highest quality mattress at that, still playing at that affordable price point. Um, and just being able to get a product to somebody when they need it. Like right now, it's a pandemic. Nobody's leaving their house. And our business has picked up. People are putting orders through still. They're not leaving their home. They're purchasing online. Um, and just being able to deliver on that convenience really is kind of proven to be uh, yeah. the biggest thing. Gotcha. As athletes, can you speak? So uh, I'll share my own experience with sleep and then you guys can tell us how important it is. But we've had, you know, I played in Brooklyn. We had a, a sleep performance coach join the team. Um, I shouldn't say join the team. They, they chimed in, checked on us once a month, tracked our sleep. When I was in Portland, we worked with uh, Dr. Royer from uh, NeuroCore Pro, who is one of the foremost thinkers in, um, you know, maximizing your sleep and how it affects performance. So uh, there's some great research out there in terms of sleeping and, you know, just for your health, your wellness. Um, as, an athlete, as an athlete, can you guys share how important sleep is and why it is important to invest in your mattress and have a, a good place to, to get some rest? No, absolutely. I, I've been playing now for about 10 years and probably like three years ago, I started tearing my hamstrings up and they just kept tearing. I couldn't figure it out why. And I really had to focus more on my body and like what I was doing and realizing the importance of sleep. If I don't get a good night's sleep, I'm not performing the same. Like I'm a little groggy. I'm in the cloud all day. Um, and knowing that, you know, the sleep is ultimately the, kind of like the core of how your day is, you know, going forward, how productive you are, um, how you perform on the floor, like my recovery. If I'm not getting the right sleep, you know, I might be a little sore. Um, but right now in London is universal healthcare in Canada. So, We've been doing sleep studies with different uh, chiropractic and physio and, and different uh, local doctors. And they're able to offer the pillows to people in motor vehicle accidents and car crashes and things like that who have serious whiplash um, and neck issues that, you know, the adjustability in our pillow, it's appealing to a number of different uh, sleeping positions, as well as if you have a stiff neck and you're recovering, you can adjust the firmness of it. So, um, you know, really just kind of knowing 
you know, how the body is affected by your night's sleep is often the wrong. Yeah. I remember for the viewers out there, there's a book called Sleep Smarter that um, Dr. Royer shared with our team. And if you read it, you'll feel like sleeping can change the world and you might not ever take uh, a drug ever again. Um, question from the audience. Lori Miller asks, how long does a good mattress last? Do you guys have a 10 year warranty, which, which seems, um, you know, longer than most I've seen, but, but what do you guys recommend in terms of, uh, life of a mattress? So, yeah, we do have a 10 year warranty on our product as mattress professionals. We do recommend, uh, to purchase a new mattress roughly every seven to 10 years. Uh, mm -hmm. first off, uh, due to sanitary reasons, as I mentioned before, and also due to your body. Uh, your body changes throughout time. Uh, what I know what my body may have needed 70, 70 years ago compared to what it needs today is different. I have different aches and pains as I progress through life. Uh, so you need to have find an uncompromising mattress that's going to fulfill those needs. So uh, probably every seven to 10 years would be a, a good recommendation for purchasing a new mattress. Gotcha. Um, another question from the audience. Jacqueline asks, um, are you able to save costs by going direct to consumer would you want to be in stores? Uh, you absolutely save money uh, by shipping direct to consumer. You don't have it much of the overhead as far as paying for the retail space, paying for the commission salesman sitting in a store. Uh, so you're skipping that middleman. You're getting it from the manufacturer right to your front door. Uh, so where you would find an Allure Sleep mattress would be a lot uh, cheaper than where you'd find it in a store. Um, there are benefits to, to purchasing uh, a mattress in the store by being able to touch in the field as well. Uh, but we've offered that convenience by giving that in-store experience from the comfort of your home by offering a 100-night risk-free trial. Uh, potentially down the road, uh, it is definitely something that we'll be looking into. But right now, we're structured to do direct-to-consumer. Gotcha. Let's, um, let's take a second and uh, show the the unboxing or the customer experience when you get the video. This is for our pillow or for the mattress? Um, let's, let's show the mattress if we can. Okay. Is that you Garrett in the pillow video? Yeah, that's me with a haircut. Yeah, pandemic's been hard on all. Right. Oh, here we go. This is the pillow here, not the mattress. Okay. Nice. Um, and then let's, you know, just since we're focused on the mattress, let's show the mattress video really quick. Okay, maybe not. Um, all right, there we go. That mattress came to life really quick. I remember I, I had like three months in New York, so I got one off of Amazon, which you should never do for your mattress. And it took about two days for it to foam up. Yeah, that's not good, man. We're like, yeah, no, we, ours would be immediate. 30 minutes to an hour, that is it. Yeah, no, that, that looks much, much better. Um, so I got to ask you guys a selfish question. Um, I looked at your sizing online. When are we going to introduce the, the full XL? Or I'm sorry, the what is it called? The King XL. Well, no, we need the Alaskan King. California, but California King. 
We need the Alaskan King and then we need the full XL. <laughs> something, those for over, over, something for over people, people over six, eight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and as, as a player, you should, I, I thought you guys would be the first yeah. to, to make that standard, but Man, there are, there are bigger talk, bed sizes out there. We could talk off the record and we will get you a custom one. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm in the market for one. There you go. Give us a call. Okay. So uh, another audience question, Andrew Jordan asks, what is memory foam? Like, how do you tell if it's high quality? Don't people have to test the mattress first? Uh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, I kind of spoke on it before where we offer a 100-night risk-free trial uh, where you can try the mattress for 100 nights risk-free. And if you don't like it, uh, we'll issue a fr free refund. Uh, and with that mattress that, that you didn't like, uh, we'll donate it to a local charity uh, or a family in need. So that mattress doesn't go to waste. Um, we understand that the mattress industry is an industry where you need to touch it and feel it. Uh, it is more personable. Uh, but with memory foam, it, it really adds a nice um, a nice comfort where it's going to conform to your body. Every inch of your body is going to get support, uh, giving you more less less tossing and turning when you sleep, uh, and giving you a nice medium feel. So it's not too plush, not too firm. It's kind of right there in the middle. Uh, to help reduce pressure points and, and contour to the body. Our top layer of memory foam is also a gel infused memory foam to add added cooling and uh, pressure relief and comfort. And then the densities of the foam throughout, um, they, they vary to add different support, but ultimately it reduces pressure points and helps pro promote the proper spinal alignment. Gotcha, very cool. Um, can you guys share just some advice? Some, some of our viewers are starting their own companies and um, you know, are you guys are you know multiple years into this? What what would advice would you give to somebody starting out, um, in in their in their uh, entrepreneurial journey? Uh, don't quit. You know, I think that uh, not being afraid to start small. Um, I the biggest fear in this is we were scared that we were going to run too fast, spend our money, and we'd be out of money, and then we couldn't go any further with this. So not being afraid to kind of crawl before you you run and kind of take your money and slowly figure out what's working and what's not working um, and where funds are best spent. Um, but yeah, just perseverance throughout. Uh, Cause there's been a lot of times where we're approaching stuff and we might not know. And as we're going along, we figure it out. And you know, ultimately it's just kind of the best you know, way to, to get going. You just put your best foot forward. Gotcha. Um, another audience question, uh, Umi Mitsana asks, how many people send their mattresses back? Our return rate is actually for defective mattresses is actually b below 1% uh, for defective pieces. Our return rate for comfort trial is below 3%. So it's very low. Uh, again, if it is something that you do want to return your mattress with, it hasn't happened too much. We're, we're more hands-on than most companies being the, the fact that we're involved in the business every day. Uh, but very, very low return rate because we believe that we created the perfect mattress. Awesome. Um, what, how do you guys grow? Um, you know, you, you built a nice business. Um, you know, you've leveraged your, your playing career. Um, do, is it, do you just wait on the customer base to, to need new mattresses or what's your, your strategy going forward? Uh, right now, I'll let Garrett answer that. I can't hear yeah, on my end. Trying to focus on our accessories a little bit more. Um, our pillow is a, a cheaper option to get the, the brand in the front door for somebody. Um, as I mentioned before, it's universal healthcare out here in Canada. So we've been trying to tap into different like massage clinics, physio clinics, chiropractic clinics, which are actually everywhere here because you know there's no malpractice and different things. But um, either way, we're trying to get into those different avenues where we have the experts kind of recommending our products for us. Um, people that are seriously in need are coming and using our products and seeing major results. Um, you know, getting the brand out organically where I get like free press in the city, stuff like this, mm -hmm. um, getting the exposure at the arena um, has really been kind of like the best springboard for us. And um, just kind of getting more foot soldiers out there, pushing our products and getting the brand out there. Gotcha. Very cool. Um, so just to show people how big beds can get, we have a, a visual from a, a terrible movie called The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Um, Doug, can we pull this up and show people? what um, Allure will make one day. <laughs> this is just for you. Oh my God. How many pillows are on that bed? You know, an another funny Google search is Shaq's bed. He used to do custom beds all the time. 
the circle on the yeah the circle yeah but anyway so th this is really cool guys you know I, I appreciate you guys coming on here and sharing your story let's let's run the website so the viewers who want to um to get a mattress I'm doing a home project I'm in, I'm gonna check out a couple mattresses for my place and um, I think all the viewers should too because I think it's a really neat story um, you know you guys are living it you're not just starting out but but you're all in and I think that's really neat appreciate it let us know we'll help you out appreciate it great thanks for coming on guys great. Appreciate, appreciate the it. opportunity